A new ROM named as Palirim OS based on Android 13 is rolled out and in this video I am going to show its new features, customization, Antutu benchmark score, geek pen score, safety net status, CPU throttling and many more of this Palirim OS. So without further ado, let's start. As you can see this is Redmi Note 8 and I have installed this Palirim OS 1.5 in it. This is the unofficial build and it is running on latest Android 13. The Android security patch is of December 5, 2022 and Quicksilver kernel is used in this ROM. Now I'll show the camera used in this ROM and this camera has portrait short video panorama and pro features. And camera and video recording is working properly but when you switch to panorama the camera crashes but you can use Google camera in it and Gcam is working properly also panorama is working on Gcam talking about the Antutu benchmark score this room gives the score of 2 lakh which is a pretty good score compared to its stock MIUI room and you can see the geek paint score on the screen for single core the score is 294 and for multi core the score is talking about cpu throttling you can see the cpu throttling test result on the screen as no cpu thermal throttling is detected while testing for 5 minutes now i'll run a safety net test and it has passed the safety net compatibility test also inside play protect certification devices certified is written there so this means you won't face any error while using banking apps this has android dialer installed in it but this does not seem to work properly in my device so i had to download phone by google and google phone dialer is working properly it has game space app present in it which have some gaming related features and this game space looks something like this you can see it has very few apps pre-installed and i'm not facing any lags while using this rom also this rom is smooth with fast app opening closing speed inside its wallpaper and styles you will find dark theme option with themed icons and app grid wallpapers colors and basic colors are missing here in wallpapers and styles section this has quick step launcher available and inside its home screen setting there is use taskbar option for opening and switching apps. Also hidden and protected app is also available for hiding and protecting our applications. If you like app suggestion feature then you can enable it from here. Also in recent section there is lens option in quick actions but this is also not showing in recent app section even after enabling. This is quick setting section which have one handed mode feature along with scan QR code but this scan QR code tile is unavailable and it is not working as well. And we can enable auto brightness directly by tapping on brightness slider. Inside its setting section there is private DNS available and from display we can enable dark theme but custom dark theme options are not present. There is tap to sleep option present which will turn off the screen if you double tap on status bar or an empty area on lock screen. This option works for both plays. Inside security there is fingerprint option present but face unlock is still missing in it and in encryption it is encrypted. Talking about battery, it have battery uses, battery saver, battery manager and battery temperature option present and you can see the battery uses graph on the screen and battery backup is pretty good. Inside system there is button options which have some features like invert layout, is long swipe action, long press for torch and many more. There is status bar setting from where we can enable quick pull down, do some customizations on clock and battery. And inside is gesture setting there is swipe to screenshot, quickly open camera, system navigation, one handed mode, press and hold power menu for power menu as assistant and prevent ringing. And inside developer option you can find display cutout option from where we can change the notch style and there are total 12 different notch available in it. Also ignore window secure flag is present. This room also provides unlimited photos and videos feature on Google Photos app. So this is all about this Palirim OS based on Android 13. This room is working properly but some features are missing in it. 
It's an unofficial build, but the official stable version will roll out soon. And maybe they will fix the missing things inside this room. And for normal uses, you can use this room if you don't want more customization. But I'll suggest you to wait for this stable build. So that's it for the video. What do you think about this room? You can share your thoughts and experience on the comment section. And if you like this video, do like, share and also subscribe to Cracks YouTube channel. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.